encryption can be in two different configurations. In single shaft, the turbine is used for rotation of compressor and rotation of the power generation facility, which can be a compressor, a generator, or a pump, or any other purpose that we want to use this gas turbine. But in dual shaft, we are going to have two turbines. And in different gas turbines, we can find different names. But the most common name is that we call one of them as CT, which is compressor turbine, and the other one as PT, which is power turbine. So, actually, we are going to have one compressor turbine for rotation of compressor, and the other one is coupled to the facility which is going to be used for power generation. Okay? And in this configuration, we consider the CT as the GT section, and the PT is called the power uh, turbine system, and it's coupled to the other facilities. Now, we are going to talk about GG system. Then, step by step, we are going to talk about the starter motor, air system, gas fuel system, and the turbine section. And in every individual section, we are going to talk about details of logic, with the cover, of design, and any other function of these sections. Okay? Mainly, when we are going to talk about compression, Theoretically, we are going to have two ways for increasing the pressure. Okay? Do you know what is Bernoulli equation? Bernoulli equation. Do you remember it? The, according to the Bernoulli equation, Bernoulli equation. Yes. Do you remember the formula? Anybody? Do you remember it? Approximately one plus. It's actually near but not exactly. So, Bernoulli equation is actually another compression of energy uh, conservation law. Okay? We say that the energy cannot be produced or removed. We are able just to transfer it from one state to another. Okay? According to the Bernoulli equation, P over gamma plus V, which is velocity, <coughs> over 2G plus Z is always constant. What does it mean? P over gamma presents potential energy. V2 over 2G presents kinetic energy and Z is gravitational energy. So summation of different types of energy is the same. And this uh, formula gives us an idea for increasing the pressure. How? If we are able to increase the velocity at the first stage, okay, this velocity can be changed to the pressure by changing the cross-section area of the fluid. Okay? So, if we are able to produce some facility which can accelerate the fluid, which means increasing the velocity of the fluid, then by just changing the cross-sectional area of the fluid, we are able to change this velocity to the pressure. Okay? And this idea is used for compression of dynamic compressors. And dynamic compressors are divided into two main types. The most famous ones are the centrifugal and the next type is the axial. These two main types of compressors are used for compression section of a gas turbine. Okay? 
In 99% of situations, the axial bond is the desire because it's more near to the isentropic process. Do you remember yesterday we talked about isentropic, isothermal, and isentropic compression process? Yes. These type of compressors are able to increase the pressure by step by step in different stages. Firstly, the velocity would be increased and the part of compressor which is used for increasing velocity is called rotor. Then by using a, a stator, we are going to change the velocity to the pressure step by step. Okay? So this is the idea of compression in a gas turbine. 